Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am back with our weekly faith project, um, extra journaling portion, Bible journaling, journal journaling, however you want to do it. Um, so I want to say, first off, thank you for everyone who was so kind and understanding about yesterday because um, my husband had that a um, bit of emergency medical thing the last couple of weeks and it finally took a turn Wednesday night, Thursday, and, um, was it, two? no, I think it was Wednesday night. Anyways, um, I, or, pardon me, Tuesday night, Wednesday, today's Thursday. I can't remember what days it are, what, what the days are yet. <clears throat> pardon me. And so that, um, was a total praise and a total thanksgiving to God, um, cause there was talk of specialist and hospital potential stuff. And so oh, it was really good. And um, we'll know more um, in the next few, probably weeks, how everything turns out. But um, I told my husband, I said, the, those good Christian women on our Josephine's Designs were praying for you. And he was like, well, golly, thank them, you know, gosh, you know. So um, anyway, so thank you guys for all your prayers, all of your encouragement. We really appreciate it. I'm trying the camera in a new place. We've had all kinds of problems with it, you know, clicking and glitching, and then we've also had problems with it um, turning, and then the video being wumpy jawed. So here we go. Okay, all right. So this um, week in the weekly faith project, we did Hebrews eleven one. So we will work on that. But first, I wanted to share um, some uh, just another quick uh, little project. I thought I would do it. So here's all my pre cut stuff that I took on the trip. And I am going to use a sticker from um, Love and Faith. I love, uh, uh, yeah, Love and Faith. <laughs> I had to think what the name of the company was again. Ooh, and I just thought something like that would look pretty or, ooh, I do like that green. Okay, so I wanted to see really quickly. I don't think I want it to get too busy behind it. Um, I don't mind, um, like, the hearts. I don't mind at all. Um, but I just, I think it's, uh, not enough there. Okay. And I think the other hearts, this is the other, um, piece I thought might look good. Um, that's not bad. And that's not bad. I actually like that. Ironically, I did not even think of that one. So yeah. Oh, and this is a kind of light tweed, but I don't think I want to do that. Okay. Yeah. No, I think I'm going to stay with that and... We are going to call it a day, and I will be happy with those choices. Okay, so this is quick and easy. So I don't want you to go, oh, I have to have that sticker. Well, you can get that sticker from Love and Faith, but you do not have to have it, okay? Um, I had thought about doing a little something behind it. Um, I don't think I want to do the butterflies. I love the hearts. Um, there's not enough hearts on that. Let's see what these hearts look like. And, of course, we do have that. Ooh, kind of like that. Maybe, but ooh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with that. I really do like that. And then that brings out the pink. Okay, we're done. That's how long I take. Literally, how long I take. Um, I do know the kit as I cut it out, so I'm aware of what's in there. But I do not, I did not pre-plan anything. I am here, cold turkey, going through it with you guys. <laughs> cold turkey. All right, so I'm just going to start laying it down. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. It is um, hot, but when I took my husband his lunch, he goes, wow, it's almost like cool out here. And I thought, oh, quit speaking it out loud. <laughs> From your mouth, actually, to God's ears. It is so hot, guys. We are in the hundreds. And uh, it is so unusual to have that kind of heat. Um yeah, and we are in major drought, and um, wow, there are people that are hurting already. So please pray for all the farmers and the ranchers and everybody that, you know, you need that water. We need the water. Um, we have our water, um, rainwater system pretty full, but it won't last forever. And then, um, you know, we've had wells go out on us and these kinds of temperatures and these kinds of uh, weather, so um, we have a decent well right now, so we're not really worried. We're worried, uh, or not worried, but um, the state is concerned about our, um, uh, 
what am I trying to say? Our, uh, our grid, electrical grid. So I wanted to see, cause I really love this fabric tape. I wanted to see, would it be, oh, I think it's too much. What do you think? Oh, it might be pretty though underneath that leopard. Let's see. Hey, we can take it. We can play with it. We can see and just take a little swatch of it, right? <laughs> and this comes with that funny little light cutter. Um, but I just have my scissors here, so because I don't want to take too much of your precious time. Okay, so let me see here. Oh, it has a butterfly on it. Oh, well, that's the part that's got to stick out, right? Um, hmm. I'm kind of thinking something like, oh yeah, let's do something like that. What do you think? It doesn't always have to be even. It can be wompy jawed. It can be however you want it. It doesn't have to be perfectly square when you cut it either. Um, it just happened to be, that's what happened today. Tomorrow, it won't be that way. Okay? <laughs> I promise. And because I do have these dots here, I am going to line it up. Um, yeah. All right. So hopefully y'all aren't as hot as we are. I know there's a lot of places, um, especially up north where y'all are getting so much rain, you're cold. And I totally understand that. I really, really, really do. And, um, I feel your pain. I know you guys don't want to be cold. We don't want to be this hot either. So I get it. I love that. And that just covers up that portion that um, where you put, you know, the dime and all that. But I already did that here on the inside. So, okay. All right. You know, I'm going to save that and make something out of that. We'll see what we can do. Okay. So, hold on. I got to get to where my notes were. And then, um, yes, I had a Bible out yesterday. I was going to use my Bible for this project and then I just um I didn't I ended up not so okay Hebrews 11 1 this is the New Living Translation um I've got my Bible right there I may pull it out we'll see okay now I am going to mark let's see no nope, mark that page here oh I've got it marked okay we're good got that marked so let me see what I want to do here because I want to journal on that side. Now, I could have easily done that. And initially, when I pulled it out, that's what I was going to do with that little um, swatch. I was just going to, yeah, I was just going to use that um, and, and journal today. And you can do that. And I don't want you to feel like, oh, I've got to do all these extra things. You don't. Believe me, you don't. Let me, let me help soothe your heart right now. You don't have to, Okay. I am just going to have fun layering up, putting color down, um, just playing for a few minutes. So I just have pre-done paper and all different sizes, things I cut ahead, and I'm just, I'm just going to enjoy it. Okay, I don't want that color. Let me see. I really like that color. Yeah, I'm such a pink girl. Can you tell? Oh, no, I like that one. Okay. I don't know if I want it on that yellow. What's on the other side? I don't want any more that I want. Well, doggone it. They made it to go together. Why am I fighting it? Anyways, um, so, ooh, I do like that too. Wait a minute. What about that? Let's go there with that. It just feels happy. Um, ooh, I've got that. Good layer with that. I like that. And I need to focus, so hang with me. I'm going to get there, I promise. Oh, you know what? I left all my ephemera over in the cart. I should have brought that cart over. Silly me, but that's okay. That is okay. I am not in any way worried about that. So, trying to see here. I want to get that scripture on here. And I know I have some things in here that I can... Put them on with hold on let me see okay I mean there was the whole purpose of doing it this way oh that's what I'm gonna do let me go with a little one and sorry you can see me I'm just going through um I kind of like those chip paint chips um ooh, but I like that one better okay I think I know what I'm gonna do all right silly me huh <laughs> 
All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this one down first. And, yeah. So, these are all pre-cut. I cut these before we went on our trip. So that if I use this as a travel journal or whatever I was going to use it as, um, they would be ready to go. Never thinking that I would be using it initially for this. But I'm so glad I am. I mean, I'm loving it. Um, for my for the Bible journaling, it's been perfect. I can keep my notes, etc. It looks that great. So the next, I think, yep, I'm gonna have to go this way, but I want it to be, I think, a bit off center. So hold on, and I've got these butterflies, and I kind of want to color those in. So, and I think I'm going to, and the reason why I want to put these in because I want to say something here. So as we write this scripture out in our Bible journaling. We want to meditate on the Word of God. So I'm going to write it out on the paint chips. I could even use the white space on the back. But this was the color chip, um, you know, to tell you the colors in the kit. So I save everything. I cut the colors off, and I just use the swatch. And, um, yeah, I'm going to write my scripture across here, across here. And then I'm going to somehow add the butterflies. And as I focus on this scripture, I am going to color in those butterflies and we've been memorizing it this last week and of course you can use regular journaling paper you can do whatever you want um, but we've been memorizing it this last week so um, and I'm actually going to do also that Ephesians 2 8 I will add 9 in to 8 and 9 that I shared also with you um, and I have it written right here so um, yeah I just think that as we go through and we study God's word and we're, we're working in journals and you know I've written the scripture for 11 one I want to continue that journey on and I want it to be my focus as I go through this so um I do have my pen yeah I was like did I get over here without my pen hold on I can't turn it off um I've got an alarm going off let's see all right sorry guys um I am like wedged in here and I can tell the rockers bumping that and so please forgive me I'm so sorry um I do want to use a little bit of washi and I think I'm going to go with this kind of color square washi down here and these were not from the same this is Felicity Jane this is I think 49 Market Street I believe I can't remember it's a new company to me it's probably everybody knows about it I didn't and um I really am loving their washi um, I think it is way too much fun. Um, yeah, I mean, I really am loving it. I love the florals. I love clearly this one. Um, I'm having a good time. Um, and I think I'm just going to go a little wompy job with that. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty um, focused on the other areas of not, um, <clears throat> pardon me, being, um, these are and they aren't perfect. You know what I mean? So, and I think I'm just going to lay that down there. And then this will go here. And that just kind of slightly ties it all back in. And I don't care that it's transparent. I like that. That is something I like. So let's write the scripture. I'll then come back as I pray through the scripture and meditate on it more. And I hope you're going to come back to your scripture that you've been scripture writing and continue to you know, refresh your memory. Go back, go back, go back. Um, but... Um, I think it's just a great opportunity to hide God's word in our heart, to meditate on it. And when we color or when I color like that, it gives me an opportunity to focus on that. So, all right. So let's see here. We've got the Hebrews 11.1. One, so I'm going to write that down here. And yes. So I am going to write this at the halfway point, And if I have room, I will put in the Ephesians later not to burden you guys with that because that's just extra that I want to do um okay here we go um and you'll have to forgive me I memorized it in a different version not this version because I already had it memorized before in a different version uh, faith shows um the reality of what we hope for so the reality of what you have to excuse my handwriting, it's so messy. What we hope for, okay? And then I think, yep, semicolon, I can't see it. 
I need new glasses. Okay, <laughs> it is. It is. I'm thankful for what I have. Um, the evidence. Um, of things. And I know it as not seeing. Of things. We cannot see. Now, it's my journal, so I'm going to underline faith because that's what this is all about. I love it. Now, I have plenty of room to come back in here and put that Ephesians, so I will do that later. And then this will be something on a tough day, and I'm thinking, oh, uh, you know, these are great things that you can do ahead. And if you're going through a rough day, and we all have them, um, you could come back and you can meditate on the Word. You can um, write the scripture out. And I kind of want to go a little bit over, yeah. And yeah, I mean, it just, it just works, you know, it just worked for me. And I can come back in color if I'm waiting, you know, for my husband or my daughter or whatever I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to decide which way I want to put that, but I don't want to give up any of my scripture space, right? You know, <laughs> I want all the space for to write the scripture. Um, no, I think I'm just going to go back with what I was going to do. You know, just put that up there. All right. Now, um, this is very simple, guys. There is nothing fancy schmancy about what I'm doing here. It is just um, shapes. It's circles. It's rectangles. It's um, that's it. And I don't want you. Sorry, I've got that alarm going off again. I don't I can't reach the dismiss. I can only reach a snooze. I don't want you to feel like you have to do more. You have to do less. You have to do whatever. This is your journal. This is between you and the Lord. So you can do this in your Bible. You can do this in your journal. You can do this in your book. OK, I'm not writing in my book because I write in my journal because I write a lot more notes. Um, and um, and these are private things, guys. I mean, as we go through this, this is our walk with the Lord, and we're, I'm very thankful for it, but I also know there are things that are very private, and um, so that's why I try to do it in a journal where I can just kind of paper clip it, keep it closed, open it up when I need to share something, and, and then teach from it. That's how I do it. So, all right, guys, that's it. Now, I would definitely come back with a sticker or something. You know what? I'll show you what I'll do. Um, I would come back with ephemera or stickers or anything like that right there. But instead, ooh, yeah, I like this one. Let's get a floral on it. What do you say? All right. Okay, so we'll just do a little bit of this. Why not? Why not? We can. We can, guys. <laughs> All right, more of that gorgeous washi that I am absolutely loving. So I'm just going to come across here and bring that up. And that kind of balances and anchors it. If I had ephemera, I would have stuck it right there. That still gives me room to write. Um, I think I'm going to take a little bit more of this because this is cloth. Isn't this great? One of the kits, this kit was paper. And then one kit was cloth. And I was just like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I love that. So, okay, I'm just going to kind of lightly ground it right there. And that's it. I'm done. So, keep it simple Keep it easy. Um, I still have room to come back and write my other scripture here. I also have a place where I can color while I meditate on the word. So, um, and it's great to get a couple of versions secured in your mind and in your heart. Um, I think what I have memorized is New American Standard. It tends to be what I do. Um, but this is um, New Living Translation. I need to write that down. And it's good for my brain now. In the words of my husband, you mix your translations up when you memorize, and it's true, I do. Um, it's just, uh, you know, I hate to say that happens, but it does. But it's okay because um, I'm learning God's Word. I have it hidden in my heart. I am, um, I am, God is teaching me. He's teaching me. And that's all good, right? And that's where you need to be, too. All right, friends. Um I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to let you guys go. I didn't pray to open this because, <clears throat> pardon me, this is more about a craft than it is about, um, you know, a, a faith lesson or a devotional, but I feel like I need to pray right now, so let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you right now, and we just thank you for today. 
Lord, we just humbly, humbly, humbly bow before you. There is nothing that we do in our own strength. It is all in you, God. When I'm weak, you are strong. And right now, you know, I'm just juggling these balls and I'm trying to get back my sea legs and trying to get all these things done. And I get really frustrated with myself. And I pray, God, that you just give me the wisdom to know and the, and the focus to be okay with it. And just take my time, get things done well. Um, Lord, even if it's um, 10 minutes and then rest and 10 minutes and rest, just help me to find contentment of that. And as my friends here are with me, I feel like I need to pray that for them as well. <clears throat> Pardon me. We get so overwhelmed, God. And, you know, if we start with 10 minutes, 10 minutes in the word, the best part is go work, come back and be in the word 10 minutes, and then go back and work and be in the word 10 minutes or have so much scripture memorized, God, just flood our hearts and our minds with it. Whenever we're in that rest period, help us to rest in you because there is nothing like your rest, your peace, your guidance, your, your blessings. God, we raise your name on high. We lift up everything, every blessing that you've given to us, and we give it right back to you. We thank you, God. We thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all that you're teaching us, all that you're doing. And Lord, what an exciting year it's going to be. We are going to know about faith as we each week tip, just dip our toe into that conversation. And this week was about believing. Help us to believe, 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 so that we can have faith in you. Lord, we love you. I pray that you be with each and every person who hears my voice right now, that they would hear only you. They would, they would learn what you want them to know. And I pray right now that as we go through this journey, those that might not know you as Savior will come to have a saving knowledge of you, because that is what it requires. That's the only requirement is that we give our life to you. And uh, then you bless us in return with forgiveness and, and an eternal life. And uh, Jesus, I just uh, ask as there are those that may be on that place where they're trying to decide what to do, help them to find that Titus 2 woman, that godly woman near them that they can ask more, have conversations with, ask questions about, or to go see a pastor um, a really good pastor who has a heart for listening and a heart for teaching and a heart for praying. And Lord, finally, God, as we all consider these things um, that we pray for others to step in, help us know that you called us to the Great Commission to teach, preach, to teach, preach, and make disciples. And Lord, how reassuring that was last night when we we watched our Sunday that we missed when my husband was sick um, on YouTube for our church. And the pastor brought that up. It was so funny. I just taught on that. And there it was, clear as day. Only you can do that, God. And oh, wow, what a blessing you are. What a blessing you are, Lord. Oh, goodness, Lord. So then we know it's you. It's not me. It's you. And I thank you for that, God. You were teaching me right along there and reaffirming the things you had laid on my heart. And I just love you, Lord, for that so much. Thank you. I'm so unworthy to be your daughter, but I am so thankful that you are the Lord of my life. And I pray that for each and every person who's hearing my voice right now. We praise you, God. We praise you. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Okay, my dear sweet friends, send me pictures of yours. Remember the hashtag. It is hashtag JDWFP. Um, so Josephine's Design Weekly Faith Project. Okay, hashtag JDWFP. Send, um, put your stuff out there on social media, on your uh, Instagram or Email it to me if you don't want that. If you want me to put it on the website, um, we'll be working on the website in the next couple of months. We're trying to get all these projects back on track again. And um, yeah, so I want, I, but I'm, but I will put up something ASAP to honor you guys. All right, guys. Um, 
Ah, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your prayers for my husband. And um, just know what joy it is to be with you. All right, friends, have a great day. And I can't see it. I can't wait to see what you're doing in your Bible, in your journal, or in your actual um, devotional book. It's going to be a blessing. And if you haven't gone back and seen the first, um, well, the week one, there's an intro week and a week one, please feel free to go back. And if you're just deciding, hey, I think I want to do this thing, come join in. You sure can. Hold on one second, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I still have... That stinking illness that's still bugging me, but it's okay. We give God the praise and the good and the bad. And um, help me draw breath there for a minute. Okay, friends, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to drink what's left of my coffee. I know it's pretty late, but I'm going to enjoy it. And um, I will be talking to you all soon. All right, guys. Love you guys. Be safe. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.